Okay, if you can't recognize where I am, then you've not been to New York City, or at least been around to one of the most famous places in America and New York City itself, and that would be Coney Island, New York. This is uh, the home of the famous Nathan's Frankfurters. So how did this start? How did this start? It started in 1916. Uh, Nathan Handwerker and his wife Ida, uh, they used their life savings and borrowed with two other people to save up $300 to invest in this business in 1916. Ida came up with the, the spicy hot dog recipe and uh, they sold the hot dogs for five cents rather than the going rate of 10 cents. But more so than that, they had their uh, employees wear white smocks and these surgeon smocks. So it looked uh, very clean and sanitary. It didn't have all the, uh, the FDA stuff going on then. Also, they allowed their employees to eat the hot dogs in the back, so they looked really good. So they sold like crazy. And as you know, what happened to Nathan's, it just blossomed, and in 1987, they ended up selling it as a, as a franchise. But what's interesting is about this area, and uh, I'm gonna take you uh, on a bike ride right now, if I can manage this, uh, while I'm filming. So, let's see if you can see this, because the area has changed completely. And I'm doing this on the fly. There's the Coney Island Station. And I'm gonna try something I've not done before and make this a kind of mobile. But uh, let's see if I can do this. So. I'm going to show you Nathan's a little closer, and it's nice here at nighttime. This is really, really the time to see it. I'm going to flip this down now so I can see what I'm doing. And I'm going to ride, and you are now going to see the absolute original Nathan's that opened in 1916. And what is what's really fascinating is that. The second one opened in 1959, and that opened in Oceanside, New York. Now, I was born in 1964 and moved to Baldwin in 1969, and we went there all the time, and I took it for granted that it had that uh, arcade and, uh, and, and the Frankfurters, and it was this, their very second one in 1959. So uh, I'm very used to Nathan's having grown up in, in Baldwin, Long Island, but I've come to... Um, uh, I guess it was, it was the name of it. I mean, it was originally Steeplechase, but I guess it was called uh, Astro Park. But here I am, I'm gonna take you for a little ride here in the back. And this area, unfortunately there's some noise, uh, car beeping, so uh, it's uh, nothing, in, oh, thank God it stopped, so you can hear me. There you go, Frankfurt, since 1916. But what's interesting about back here, and these are not the same buildings at all, but I'm taking you to the exact same area of what was once the Harvard Inn. Now you're thinking, what the hell is the Harvard Inn? Well, if any of you know your mobster and gangster history uh, and have seen maybe Boardwalk Empire, um, there was a, a mobster called Frankie Yale, Frankie Ioli, who uh, then adopted Frankie Yale. Now Frankie Yale opened up the Harvard Inn, which was really uh, a drinking establishment. And the bouncer for that inn uh, right here was none other than Al Capone. Al Capone was the badass gangster, <laughs> uh, bouncer. And uh, when Frank, a regular customer, Frank Galluccio came in with his daughter, Al gave him some funny looks and he insulted her, and it was overheard. Frank Gallucci, hot-headed as he was, they ended up having a fight, and it was a knife fight. And that knife fight uh, gave Al Capone a scar across his face, and forevermore, he was known as Scarface. So that all happened right here, right behind Nathan. So this walk's not there. So now you can see, you can see the park here itself. Uh, it's dark. Uh, not really the time to see that, but it's uh, better to see uh, Nathan's. 
so uh, it's it's just after Christmas and before New Year's, so this is the dead of winter. But when you come here in the summertime, this is really the place to be uh, for um, to see the sea and walk the boardwalk and have yourself a hot dog. But uh, otherwise, hello. Uh, otherwise, uh, this is New York, and uh, it's uh, it's 14 miles from Astoria from the first stop to the last stop, and vice versa on the Q train, and. Uh, that um, it took one hour and 30 minutes. I could practically have uh, driven, ridden my bicycle for that amount of time. And uh, at, it got in here as the crow's flies, it's 14 miles. So, uh, so that's it, that's a little bit about Nathan's. And uh, oh, I'm gonna have to mention one more thing. The Harvard Inn burned down uh, overnight in the very early morning wee hours of January 24th, 1925. And many of you know what day that is. That's the day of the last total solar eclipse in New York City. So, kind of weird coincidence that not many people know about that trivia.